Hello guys, it is Monday. My hair is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm about to do it. But it is Monday. This morning started off crazy, like crazy. I didn't think it was going to be a good day. I was late. My smoothie got messed up. And some other stuff happened. And it's just like, it's going to be a crappy day. But it was a wonderful day. And then one of my students that gets in trouble came today. And we had an okay day. We made it through all our morning <clears throat> rotations. And we had time to do writing. Because after center rotation in the morning, we do writing time. And lately, we haven't had time to do that. Because I've been having to stop centers to address behavior problems. But that didn't happen today. I was able to push through. We finished in time. We were able to do. We only had to stop for one problem. And that was because the group was taking too long cleaning up and I had to sit over them and enforce the clean up like you need to clean up now but after that we were able to like continue so I feel like we would have more writing time if um they were to take so long cleaning but we're doing a family project and they're writing something about their family and then they're going to draw a picture to go with it and we're going to laminate it and send them home and then after that we went to lunch we went to outside today and after that, we had time to do a story after math centers. Normally, we don't have time. Same thing, because we're always stopping centers to address the behavior problem. But we had, like, plenty of time. We read a story, got them calmed down, took a nap. Like, today was an amazing day. My sister's like, why are you reading a story? Because we never have time to read a story. Even though that's how it's supposed to be. It's like, hold on, we have to stop here. Now I got to add two more minutes so this group can get the full instruction or I have to add three more minutes here because we have to stop here, address this. And, like, stuff does happen that you have to address, but, like, it wasn't like that today. It was an amazing day. And I know tomorrow will not be like this. Every day will not be the same. Today was an amazing day. I didn't come on this morning, but I just want to let you know that today was an amazing day. It's week nine, folks. And uh, we test start next week. So we test on week 10 because we don't count week one so now we says this next week report goes go out the week after that like it is getting crazy so i'm about to go do something for me i'll talk to you guys later bye good morning guys it is tuesday october the first <laughs> um i'm on my way to school i'm a little bit late i gotta work on this like i'm getting later and later so I would do better tomorrow. The goal is to be at work by 6.50. Yeah, let's start off slow. But the stomach bug is killing my class. It's like just taking them out. Slowly, slowly. So I'm over here throwing across. It's like, nope. But I've been living by Lysol. And I cleaned the tables yesterday. And I've been spraying Lysol. Because I do not want the stomach bug. Like, absolutely I took my vitamin this morning. I've been off of it for a while. So it's probably too late for me. But I'm still going to take my vitamin. And I should have been on it. But I keep forgetting that it tastes so yuck. But <clears throat> they have stuff in it that I need. So anyway, that's all that's happening right now. I'm just on the way to school. And nothing much happened. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello. It is... Monday, it was nice, Tuesday afternoon. I'm leaving school. Well, I've been left. I left like four something. And I stopped at Walmart. And only stopped in there for one thing. was for face paint. For, what's tomorrow? Is it, I don't know even know how to say it. Is it spin? Oh, we'll celebrate something tomorrow. Heritage, Heritage Day. Basic in Heritage Day. We're representing people from Mexico tomorrow and in that whole area. So tomorrow is that day for celebration. And their parents, everybody's parent is invited to come to school and have lunch with them. So in order to like celebrate that in my classroom, um, I decided to stop and get some face paints. And we're gonna paint our faces like they do with the oh my goodness, where's that truck going? With the white face paints 
the little black eyes and the red lipstick, like on Coco, basically. And in the front of the school, they've done this humongous bulletin board with the, like, white face painted with the, it basically looked the lady from the Coco, the one they have, like, hung up, excuse me, and then they have decorated all colorful, and they have pictures of children around it with their face painted. So, I was like, it'll be a good way to represent them by letting the kids in my class paint their faces tomorrow with the, like, white paint, red lips, black eyes. And then we do have children in my class who speak Spanish. I have five of them. And it's amazed me every day. And if somebody comes to me, like, he speaks Spanish. I'm like, he ain't been speaking Spanish since the first day of school. He's learning our language. And, like, they haven't, like been rude to them or anything like that they like made friends and that's what I like about kids they're innocent and they make friends easily and that's just how kids are like and they was like oh he's different from me but he's still my friend so tomorrow that's what we're doing I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna like practice on myself we're gonna sing we are going to sing and when I finish, I'm going to show you guys because it's probably going to be a hot mess. So, I'm going to head home. I'm going to listen to my little music or whatever. And then, when I get home and I do my little face thing with the little... I wish I knew the correct terms for this because I just sound crazy. I'll let you guys know. So, <laughs> bye. Good morning, guys. It is October the 2nd. It's Wednesday. Today is our Spanish Heritage, heritage Day. I can't even say that. But that's what today is, and I don't think I'm going to do the mask because I feel like that's more Cinco de Mayo. But that's what I saw them hanging pictures of, so I'm going to talk with my leader of my team and see what she thinks. And I didn't even bring this stuff, so it doesn't even matter. And it's too late for me to go back because I had a whole bunch of candy to hand out. But it's fine. Uh, I just thought about it as soon as I said it. But today I'm leaving work. It's still dark as you can tell. So I'm leaving earlier today than I've been leaving all week. So I'm going to head to work early today, I guess. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. It is Wednesday afternoon. It was a day. Between fighting off the stomach bug, bleaching everything now, lights on everything now, trying not to get sick. I'll set off my suit. Don't touch me. It's been a day. Then add in behavior problems. That's nothing. That's always that's the usual. But today we had it is Hispanic Heritage Day awareness. That's what it was. So I could have bought the paint and did the face mask and all that. I really wish wish I would have bought it and done it. Like that'd have been cool. And my Spanish students came in and they were dressed like to represent their culture and it was so cute they were so cute so and their parents came and ate lunch with them i had a few other students parents who came and ate lunch with them and afterwards they went over and did an rc craft and it was so fun to see all the parents come out and support their students it was like a really good part of lunch and i forgot that parents were coming in today and like when i got to the cafeteria and all the parents were there, I'm like parents are supposed to come today but the parents who did come, they did check their students out. And I was like, oh, well, bye. But they went home early, some. And then after that, it was nap. And then I had more go home early. So I had it like 11 kids after nap left. So not a bad day. We would probably have to review rules and procedures again. I'll probably wait till after fall break because next Friday is fall break and they be gone Monday. They be gone Monday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They be gone those four days and then they probably be gone because I know they're starting to slack on them a little bit. So Monday we're going to Tuesday when they come back we're going to review and all that because we'll be starting a new ne nine weeks next week. So. It just be a good time, like to review, refresh. I'm gonna pull out new toys and all that, so it's gonna be like a fresh start. So we're gonna go over our procedures, how to clean, introduce some new toys, and like keep it interesting. So right now I'm just heading home. I'm leaving early. 
it's not even four o'clock yet. So I'm just heading home, and that's all. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Yes, it is Thursday afternoon. I didn't come on this morning. I wasn't feeling well. I feel like I was getting something, but I drank some emergency or something, or some airborne or something. I took drunk some of that and took some Tylenol. And I've been feeling better. But today was crazy. So this morning, well, all day today we had training for, for the behavior specialist. So this morning, the, all the assistants and TAs and extension people went and the teachers had the classrooms. So I was in the classroom by myself from like 8.30 to 12.30. So, during that time, I figured something out. A new way to rotate. So, we figured out a new, road, new way to rotate. And then we practice line up. Like, I ring the bell one time, and they line up. But no, no, let's back up. I clap, and they notice that means clean up. Automatically clean up. No matter what we're doing, when I clap, that you stop, you put your hands up. And I'm going to go clean up, or I'm going to go, you're too loud. But that means clean up when we're doing center, so they clean up. Then after that, and once I see everybody's pretty much cleaned up and hit the bell. You line up, push your chairs up. That's what they do. And then hit the bell, you rotate. I've taken away free toys because they do not know how to act with free toys. And I want it to be able for them to like have a choice to do other stuff and go where they want to go and do what they want to do. But they can't handle that. Ugh. They go get with people they're not supposed to be with and then they terrorize each other. They be like, he said he want my friend. She said she want my friend. He hit me, hit me, da, 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 da. So, we're switching it up. I'm choosing who going where and when they're going and with who. So, and today can learn how to keep their hands to themselves and say kind words, my rules are the highway. So, that worked good today. So, starting tomorrow, we'll be rotating like that until I choose otherwise. But I want you to do behavior training. It's basically everything I learned in my special education class with behavior. But that's that. But the lady's supposed to. It's different actually hearing somebody say it than sitting and watching it on, like, on the screen because my class was online. So it's going to be interesting that we're going to go have somebody come in and help us. Like. She's going to see what the behavior is and like basically help write out a behavior plan for it. So that is awesome that we have those people to come in and help. But nothing else really happened today besides that. It's a pretty chill day. No write-ups, no ISS. One or two reds, I think. But other than that, it was a pretty good day. So... Dang it. I forgot to stop this story and get the donuts. Because I promised some friends some donuts. And I'm like literally passing by the store as we speak. So. But yeah, I'm going to stop at the store close at home and pick up some donuts for the donut party. Because I have to bribe the kids. I'm like, if you stay on blue, you get a donut. So everybody who got blue gets the donuts. If you got a green, no. I blew. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna get the donuts and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
is Friday. Made it through another week. This week was a very interesting week. We had a training yesterday. I don't know if I talked about that. I didn't come on this morning. I've been sucky at vlogging, but today I did add a clip of some work we were doing in the classroom. And hopefully next week I can get in more work in the classroom. But I won't be in the classroom much next week because we I, I will be in the class Monday, Tuesday, half a day Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday I'll be in the training. We're going to the education conference, I think, for pre-K teachers. So that is next week. And Friday is also our fall break, but I will be at a conference. But I will have my fall break on Monday. So this will be a short, well, next week will be a short, like, vlog week. But this week was an interesting week. I figured out rotations finally, and it's running smoothly. If we we'll just use our listening ears and stop talking when we're told to or ask. Because I've asked a million times, and then it's become to the point where I have to tell you to be quiet. Like, So we have to learn to use our listening ears and learn when it's the appropriate time to talk and when it's not the appropriate time to talk. So that's something we're working on. And it's a skill that we have to like quickly catch on to because the first nine weeks is over, nine weeks test is next week. I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna prep for nine weeks test to make sure I got my cards, my number cards, like absolutely everything ready so that it will run smoothly. This week we have been reviewing over um, things that's gonna be on the test and like one of our numbers, our letter sounds because we start testing Monday and then we're going to finish up on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I will be at the classroom. So, the report cards are due the week after next. So, if there's a lot going on. I'm just trying to survive and get it all done. So, not much happening. I'm getting used to the, being a teacher. But, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing and, like, hanging on and coming in. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Bye.